Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is September 2nd, it is Monday, and it is Labor Day. I actually still have to do school on Labor Day because I'm having surgery in two days. Um, yeah. So before I get into this video, I want to say I'm planning on doing a QA and a in the near future, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments of this video or private message me on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll answer those questions in another video. But tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm getting admitted to the hospital, and sorry, I had to grab my own cream. And Wednesday is surgery, and I have been an anxious hot mess. There's been a lot of tears. I'm just, today is so much better day and I'm just really praying and hoping tomorrow I will not be a super hot mess. But I am about to get accessed for like the last time with this port in me. This little turkey, oh my gosh guys. And oh, and I'm doing my infusions two days early because the hospital said oh my gosh it really is the titanic isn't it so the hospital wanted me to do my infusions before i went in one so we wouldn't have to worry about it and two so they wouldn't have to worry to see if um my infusions could run along with tpn so i'm doing them two days early so today to be done by tomorrow and then tomorrow we're just going to wait until the hospital calls us and says they have an open bed ready for us. So we have no idea what time we'll be leaving tomorrow. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to resume my schoolwork because I still have a little bit I have to get done. And I will catch you guys up in a little bit. You're finding a target on my chest. Tiger it. Ooh, that was a little unnerving so my mom accessed me and she accessed me and she didn't get it which happened and then she went in a second time I felt the click of the port and I knew it was in the right place but it wasn't drawing back any blood <sighs> and it wasn't flushing and we were kind of nervous because we knew it was in the right spot and it wasn't drawing back my mom tried it one more time, and thankfully, she literally got in the same exact spot, but it finally was like, it flushes, and I'm infusing now, so grateful for that, but that was a little nerving. If you're wondering why my sheets and pillow cases are off, it's because they're in the wash. So, I'm connected to D10, D10, D5, and Dobumin, and then... Albumin will be done in two hours, then I'll do Lasix, and then connect to NAC. And right now, it's about two o'clock, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Uh. Hello. Horrible vlogger here. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to vlog. And now it's like 10 o'clock, so... I'm really sorry guys, um, I did school, um, and, like, I know I've talked about, like, I've been anxious, and I've been upset because I'm getting surgery, but it's like, I haven't really shared, like, the details, and specifically why, and here's the thing with anxiety, this is something I never share about, like, with anyone other than my parents, like, I don't talk about my anxiety because I do have anxiety. I deal with it every day. Um, but when things with my health arise like this, a lot of times from the outside looking in, it's like I've blown it out of proportions, but in my mind it's not. So it's just, I hope that makes sense. I've just basically been in the headspace where I know what to expect. And I've been, the two previous port surgeries have been absolutely fine and I've been okay. But then there was one surgery where I didn't do okay. And it's like, my body, like, is a roller coaster. It doesn't care. Like, one wrong thing and it can all go to, and then, like, I'm going to flare up again. And it's just, like, that thought. And it's not even the surgery itself, I think. 
I think it's more post-surgery because post-surgery is when I feel it, when I feel the pain, when I feel any effects from the anesthesia, which there are some effects I always get, um, but not bad. And so we are, we are, what's the word? I can't even think of the word, but we're being cautious. That's why I'm being admitted a day early. I'm being put on fluids and TPN for gut rest, but it's just like. It's really hard, and on top of that, I've had a lot of school, so the stress and anxiety has been a little rough, and this is like nothing compared to so many things, but at the same time, it's my reality, and I have to, like, I know, like, my feelings are validated, so is my anxiety, um, but I'm going into it, trusting in God, and I'm going to get into it, but just because I fully trust God doesn't mean that every bit of anxiety goes away. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. So I'm going in thinking of positive things. I get a break from school. Um, uh, I should be able to get pizza because there's a really yummy pizza place by the hospital. And I'll be able to binge watch some shows. So I'm just trying to focus on the positives because that's how I cope. Because if I don't, then I'm done so. So I've just been feeling the feelings and feeling that anxiety stomach and just like that whole uneasiness on edge, like agitated, like basically every manifestation of anxiety. Well, not every, but like a lot. It's just like, it is what it is, so. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully you guys don't think I'm crazy for feeling all these feelings. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure what the schedule will be like after this. It depends how recovery goes um, and how I handle everything. But yeah, tomorrow, get admitted, so... I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.